Got a tip for you today about choosing the right size hook. Uh, I'm using a drop shot hook and uh, it's just caught this smallmouth bass and I'm using a number four Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook. There. Let's get her back into the water. But I want you to note this tooth patch up on the top of this fish, right up here. There's one down on the bottom, but that tooth patch is bone with teeth in it. And the reason why I'm pointing that out to you is because all along in bass fishing, all our lives, we've been taught use the biggest hook you can get away with. Well, bigger is not always better, especially when you're drop shotting and uh, you're using six pound test line. When you're using light line, you cannot afford to use a big hook because you can't generate enough pressure to set the hook and drive it in, especially in that bone plate. So since you're using six pound test line, the line is the weak link in your whole system in landing a fish. You don't need a big hook, in fact, it, you're at a disadvantage when you use a big hook. By using a, a tiny number four size hook, you're using a hook that's got very light wire, very thin, and has a very sharp needle point hook. That tiny, thin needle point hook will penetrate through the bone patch on a small mouth bass or a large mouth bass, and it'll sink in so tight that sometimes you've got to use your pliers. That's why I always carry pliers with me because a lot of times I have to pull it out and I even have broken the hook multiple times trying to get it out of that bone patch. Now you can use a bigger hook, a bigger split shot drop shot hook. That's the number four that I'm using. Um, a lot of times people will use a number two or a number one or a one knot and they work, they work great, especially when the fish are completely swallowing the bait. But when they're just nosing down on it and nipping at it or trying to crush it to kill it with their bone patch, these four or size two and bigger hooks will not go through the tooth socket on a large mouth or a small mouth bass. A number four hook, tiny number four hook will. So that's my tip for today. Don't be afraid to use the tiny hook. I have caught a world record walleye, just under 14 pounds, world record line class six pound test walleye on that tiny number four hook. I've caught 20 pound salmon on this number four hook. You can catch big bass. The biggest largemouth I've caught uh, in a tournament on that number four hook was a nine pounder in Clear Lake. The small hook will land the big fish, especially when you're using light line. So that's my tip for today. Get yourself some number four hooks. Use them for large mouth and small mouth bass on your drop shots with your quick drop weight. And your bait will have a lot livelier action because the hook is lightweight and it's so sharp that as soon as a bass grabs it, they're stuck.